Hi guys, welcome. Look, being self-employed does not mean you have to settle for a higher interest rate home loan. Self-employed has enough hassles as it is. The most significant difference between a self-employed borrower and a salaried person applying for a home loan is the difficulty a lender or a bank has in assessing your ability to afford to pay the mortgage off. So let's unpack some of the challenges a self-employed borrower will face, look at some of the tips that'll help you get through this process. Firstly, proof of your income. It's a pretty obvious one. Lenders have a legal obligation to ensure that you, as the borrower, can afford the home loan that the lender will agree to give you. So a salaried employee has years of pay slips to provide reliable evidence as to their financial security and the ability to afford the loan. Whereas a self-employed professional or business owner often doesn't have the consistent wages or pay slips to show their lender, meaning more evidence is needed to establish that they can afford the loan. Makes sense. On top of this, lenders approach income calculations in completely different ways. Most lenders need two years of income tax returns, but many also take a detailed look at business activity to assess your financial position. For example, a lender might want to see your most recent visible on income tax returns. Makes sense. Lowest income in the past two years, an average of your income earned over the past two years. Also, some lenders consider the extra superannuation contributions and tax refunds, while many don't. In a nutshell, as a self-employed borrower, different lenders have completely differing approaches to calculating your income for the purposes of that loan application. This can be extremely frustrating to deal with. It means you would need to provide a lot more paperwork and documentation at the end of the day. Other challenges, the industry you work in. Lenders also consider the industry you are working in. People employed in high risk industries like international travel and tourism will find it harder to secure a loan, the loan amount. A lot of times, self-employed professionals aren't able to secure home loans that match their income. For example, and this may seem unfair, but if you've seen a recent spike in income or a boost in business and the revenue increase is less than two years old, in other words, you've earned it only over the more recent months, it's unlikely that you will be able to factor this into the loan amount that you're looking for. The two year income window, as mentioned earlier, lenders usually look at income over the last two years. If you've been self-employed for less than two years or have switched to a new industry very recently, it will be harder for you to secure a loan. So what can you do? Here are some simple tips for self-employed borrowers. One. Don't gravitate towards an alternate document loan without a thorough check. A low documentation loan, as they're known in the industry, as the name suggests, is a loan that requires lesser documentation, but typically this means it has a higher interest rate. Now you may be happy with a higher interest rate, but just remember that. If this is something you've heard about or are interested in, make sure you seek professional advice because the right preparation and expertise as a self-employed borrower, you still may be able to secure a more regular loan instead of having to go for one of these alternate loans. Two, prepare your documentation. As discussed earlier, the processing time and documentation for a self-employed professional takes a lot of time and energy. To make things easier, be prepared with the required documentation in advance. Make sure you have the past two years income tax returns readily available. You understand the approach your lender is taking and collect all the necessary information. You've got to have a clear picture of how your business works. For example, you need to understand your business's revenue, credit and expenses, and have the details neatly prepared and ready to share with your lender or broker. Try to keep your debt under control. With the lending environment getting more complex, not easier, it's getting tougher. A self-employed professional's living expenses are subject to a lot more scrutiny compared to a salary borrower. Seems unfair, but it's the case. Keep a tab on your expenses and control online and credit card spending. Four, chat with the mortgage broker. With the post-COVID mortgage landscape changing very rapidly, it is best to seek professional advice from a mortgage broker who will not just help you to zero in on the right type of loan, but also the right type of lender. There you have it some simple tips if you're self-employed looking to get a home loan. I know it's gonna be difficult, frustrating, and can often feel quite lonely when you're by yourself in business. That's hard enough. 
That's why it pays to have someone in your corner. If you want transparency, simplicity, and choice when it comes to your home loan, reach out to us today to chat with one of our experienced YBR brokers and find the right loan and the right lender for your circumstances.